in the state of New York. He always loves to fight in New York, and he's a, he is a guy who we saw flashes of the old Kevin Kelly in his fight with Santana the last time out on ESPN. In that fight, he boxed very, very well, Bob, and that's what he'll need to do again. Scheduled for 12 rounds, Al. What are your keys to victory? Well, for Kevin Kelly, the jab, it's so important, I put it three times. Be the old Kelly. What I mean by that is do what he did against Santana. Box. Don't stand there and make it into a war. For, he for Jesus Salud, when I say go left, young man, I mean constantly move to your left so you can land the left hook. Make it a war. Don't box with Kelly. Duke it out. We're expecting an outstanding main event. We are set for the introductions to our ring announcer, Paul LaFleur. Good evening, boxing fans, and this is the main event for the WBU featherweight title. It is under the auspices of the WBU officials, the supervisor Don Hazelton, Ed Levine, chairman, John Robinson, president. The referee assigned by the WBU is Arthur Mercanti. The judges are Nalvina Latham, Bob Gilson, and Harold Letterman. Introducing, first of all, in the red corner. He's wearing yellow trunks trimmed with green. He hails from Honolulu, Hawaii, now lives in San Diego. He has a professional record of 54 and eight with 31 KOs. He weighed in at 126 pounds. Would you please welcome the challenger, Jesus Salou. And his opponent directly across the ring in the blue corner. He's wearing yellow trunks, trimmed with green. He hails from Flushing, New York. He now resides in North Valley Stream, Long Island. He has a professional record of 45, one and two, with 31 big KOs. He is known as the Flushing Flash. Would you please welcome the champion, Kevin Kelly. This is scheduled for 12 rounds. The WBU featherweight championship. Arthur Mercanti, referee. Kevin Kelly and his use salute set here. You received your own. By the WBU. No three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee may stop the fight. Ten point must system. Three judges will score. The Good crowd on hand here at the Pepsi Arena. Jesus Salud, four first round knockouts in his career. He's been knocked down once. That came back in 1988 Let's against go. Curtis Harris. He then scored a eighth round TKO, and Kelly comes out blazing. Kelly with seven first round knockouts in his career. His last one, though, came 28 fights ago against Richie Foster in the Netherlands, five years and 10 months ago. And the big question with Kevin Kelly, and you always wonder, will he allow himself to be lured into a firefight? Does he have to make one of those miraculous comebacks, or can he box as he did against Santana? And with Santana in the last box that we saw him here on the ESPN. Only loss on Kelly's resume came in 1995 in San Antonio. TKO by 11 and a Hundro Gonzalez, the WBC title. Jesus Salud has been working out for about two months. He was getting, getting set to go to Mexico to just get a fight for two numbers. He saw his name on the fight that weeks ago. That they really would not fight Kevin Kelly on this car. He took the fight. He had about eight days to spar with him. And of course, he is stepping up in weight also. So there are a lot of intangibles that may affect the confidence of Jesus Salud. But the one thing I'll tell you is, he has some power in that position. He is a very active fighter. So in that sense, we should see a good guy. In 1996, Salud had five, the most in one year for him since 1989. Kelly with three. 
And that's a good sign for Salute. He has suffered from inactivity over the course of his career. And he has never went back to where he was. Had those four shots at the world title. He didn't have a title briefly. Four other times fought for the That's a shot. Will that make Tony Garden get involved in a little skirmish here, though? We'll see. Only the second time Salute has been down in his career. Kevin Kelly catching Salute coming in and hitting it with power. Final seconds of round one. Kevin Kelly and the Zeus Salute for Kelly's WBU Featherweight Championship. the knockdown in round one standing right in front of Kelly squaring up wide open to him was salute and he paid the price for it round number two on the way Kelly and salute here on ESPN's championship boxing Bob Popple along with Al Bernstein and if you're wondering round two has been Kelly's most productive knockout round in his career Of Kelly's oh, yeah. That would be 28 to 31. Have occurred in the first six rounds. Salute trying to press the action. Now footwork very important here. It really is. He's, what Salute wants to do is get his left foot outside the right foot of Kelly, where he can throw those hooks and then come with the straight right hand. He hasn't done it much in this bout. Now this Kelly turning to right and showing the difference. I'm not sure I would do that if I was Kelly. Round one, you saw Kelly busier. Funny, we saw uh, Salute go down and on the second time in his career. He said the most pretty of all was to fight some years ago against Frankie Dillard. Excellent fight. Kelly, stop the ball. The West Coast. And they closed Salute's eyes and they were in the house. Italy, Venezuela, Mexico, and South Africa. But there was one place he would not go. That was the Colombia. I'll explain after he won the WBA Junior Featherweight Championship. Francois Estrada in 1989. The WBA wanted him to go to Colombia to fight the number five contender who was in Colombia. And Salute said, thanks, but no thanks. I have a wife and kids. Yes, 
against us. Referee's working against us. You know whose side he's on. I gotta see a replay okay. of that. Watch him. How you feel? Okay? Yeah. Stay down a little more. Stay down a little more. You hit him with a good hook. Stay down just a little more, okay? You're up too high. You're up too high. See? Now, you're getting a little angry, and that's good. Keep him moving back. He don't want to. Come on, knock on. Yeah, well, he not, he's, 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 he's not working well. Right. You have to put some knock You don't have to. You don't have to. Oh, you don't have to. You make it. Oh, that was not knock That's McKenzie Jr. Over there. Seconds out. Of course, we have the benefit of the slow motion replay, but when you look at it, not really a knockdown, just a slip by Jesus Salud, but uh, I think Kenny Jr. behind Kelly perhaps thought it was a punch and called it a knockdown, but in truth, no. Round three underway now. Now only a knockdown round for the guy. 10-8 round in scoring, but the judges are not obligated to give that score. Righty a lot more in this fight than we've seen him in the past. And Salute is moving to his right, which is absolutely unequivocally Hook up off your right hand. Okay, let him see the right hand. Let him see the right hand. Keep your hands up. When you're finishing, you're popping up. Don't pop up. You got to stay up. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Okay? Nice and loose. Nice and loose. You're too tight. Fresh mm. here at the Pepsi Arena. We've 
had that smell around us out since about four o'clock, and we've partaken in some corn. We'll take a look at the setting here at the Pepsi Arena in Albany. The popcorn was quite good. But we didn't have any lunch or any dinner, so that popcorn had to suffice for us. We're dedicated to fresh, even without food. <laughs> I'm trying to foul punch him. Okay, okay. What was the whole thing? Yeah, that's the one right there. Do you want to show that? Okay, good. see Salud getting a chance to get some leverage with the left hook and lands it. Now that was a nice left hook on the chin. Didn't have an impact on Kevin Kelly, but that is what Salud needs to do more of. Round number five already underway between Jesus Salud and Kevin Kelly. Kelly making the third defense of his WBU featherweight championship. He says he feels stronger at 126. Just missed with that left hook. That was a good punch from the start. There you see that things got a little closer in round four. Uh, and that was, in fact, he was probably best round of the fight. Lewis is suddenly changing this bout just a little bit. He's starting to get better.
They can't beat it. Water, water on top, water on top. 17 and 9 is 26. Good job, 26 good job, but you gotta stay down. You gotta stay down. When he back up, Jesus, you gotta stay close to him. He don't want to fight. He's bullshitting. Alice with Alice, 49, 44. and then ripping those hooks to the body. Those are the kinds of weapons that Salute needs to use. Round six underway, Jesus Salute and Kevin Kelly. Salute with two six-round knockouts in his career. Kelly has four. Remember, Kelly's 31 knockouts, 28. Have come within the first six rounds. Whereas Salute has 10 of his 31 in round eight to 11. Salute threw 72 punches in that round. Now, even though he had himself a good round there, Salute is still making one mistake. He is moving mostly to his right. You see, Kevin Kevin's got that foot outside his foot. See what he moves to the left? He has a shot to land in that hook. He's already in here. Salute is moving more to his right. That's it. sense that the worm was turning a little bit in Salute's favor. And then at round five, again, he gained some momentum in round six. And this is Salute's fifth round. Now he's got a 49 44. That's because of those two rounds that first gave the first three rounds. And then he threw up the last day. And then he threw up the last day. Wants to constantly keep salute a little bit to his okay, left break. where he's got him. Come, down on, hey, Kevin, come on now. And Kelly, very outspoken young man. Not happy with the boxing establishment overall. Especially the promotion of boxing. 
boxers like themselves. Because of guys like James Tony and Boyd Jones get all the big money, everything handed to them. Barely make their weights in that. Guys like him do wars every time and don't get the appropriate money for it. Kevin Kelly was on the verge of a superstar in the lightweight division where he lost to Gonzalez. He's had a tough time getting his way back, but clearly he's making his way back. Wants to fight for a couple of years. And he's like, I'm not going to fight. He's having himself a good round here, boxing well against Salute. And round number six coming to an end. The midway point of this schedule is 12 rounds. Time. Give me the regular water, the water, you know, for his neck. I'm starting to see what you're talking about. Okay, do you understand? Spit it out. Spit it out. But I don't need okay. you in front of him, Kev. Stay still. Him. I don't need you what in you front of him. What do you want me to do? Kev. That's it. Keep this, just keep this one. We hear Salute's corner. We hear Salute's corner. You're getting inside, Hasey. You're getting inside. You're not doing nothing. Where's the right uppercut? As soon as he touches you, bam, right uppercut. Okay? You're thinking too much. I can see you from way over here. You're thinking too much. You know the combinations. Right up the cut, left hook, right hand behind it. Uh -huh. Huh? You ain't got no time to waste. Keep your chin down. The shots will come off, okay? You're thinking too much. You're thinking way too much, okay? Welcome back to ESPN, and now here's Alan Bob. Thank you, ladies. The WBU. Were those the women sisters or not? I don't know. So the WBU featherweight title on the line. You saw the belt, Kevin Kelly's belt. Now you have such a following. They do salute at Kevin Kelly. And I love America too. Hey, the the advice given that he's just salute in between rounds. Was good. It's a get on the inside, throw the upper cup, the left hand, you know the right, you know the combinations, you're thinking too much, you're not throwing punches, and that's oh, the final line, that's true. Oh, Kevin Slip, right on the logo. And I'm going to tell you what Hazy Salute did that was good, and we haven't seen much of it in boxing. When a guy falls, people hit him no matter what. He didn't do that to Kevin Kelly. And the way it goes in boxing, you get a win with that a lot, maybe it gets deducted, you never get disqualified. He could have hit Kevin Kelly, you didn't. Good sport. So Kevin took the trap after this battle in round six. I had a chance to talk with Salute both yesterday and this morning. It's just such a nice, nice, nice and even though he is different than Kevin Kelly, Kevin, of course, is a good man of places. Most of boy, also a good guy to talk to. He's a Kevin, all kinds of all kinds of right hand by Sula, all kinds of trouble figuring out how to land his power punch. And much of that Break. has to do with back. the left-handed stance of Kevin Kelly. Salute right now digging a hole in the ground. Knows about that first round knockdown. That would be a 10-8 round, and probably the second round. He's falling dramatically behind on points, at least and it is interesting when you look down the list of uh, fighters that he has fought. Not that many rookies mixed in for Jesus Salute. Most of the major fights have been against right-handers. Kevin Kelly is getting it done. He is boxing well, moving, throwing lots of combinations. And of round seven. Salute and Kelly. 
Well, some exciting boxing coming up on ESPN on Thursday night. Our ESPN boxing special, Junior Lightweight Lightning, WBU Junior Lightweight Champion Angel Man Freddy takes on Wilson Rodriguez in the IBF Junior Lightweight Championship. Arturo Gatti and Tracy Harris Patterson. That at 9:30 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Then we're live on the news Sunday, April the 6th from Altoona, Pennsylvania, 10 p.m. Our start time. Ken Sigurani takes on former world champion Meldrick Taylor. And another ESPN boxing special Monday, April the 7th on ESPN, pound for pound showdown. De La Hoya, Gonzalez, Whitaker, Hurtado, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. The start time as we set you up for the big showdown between De La Hoya and Whitaker. Jesus Salud would love a taste of a world title, Kevin Kelly's WBU featherweight title. Fight the, fight the we begin round eight, but now Kelly has controlled this fight with the exception of the later portions of round four and round five. He has dominated it by boxers, moving to his right, never staying in one spot, and showed him some pop, and he had to move down legitimately in round one. Soon as following him around the ring, not quite out of the and that is a big, big, big mistake. Salute should be sliding to his left hand. Corner coming instead of following him around the ring. Big and new ring. Big and new ring. A look at the champions in the featherweight division. Uh, the big name there, Nassim Hamed, who just beat Tom Johnson to uh, uh, unify part of the title, WBO and IBF. And uh, I dare say he's the man those people are all pointing for. He's a flamboyant figure, not unlike the way Kelly was perceived a couple of years ago. I don't like 
ESPN's championship boxing settling in in all New come on. York. As you salute and Kevin Kelly out of their respective corners to begin round number nine. Kelly defending his WBU featherweight championship for the third time. And now we're talking about featherweight and junior featherweight division. Workers like Take this on. Take Get this your arm. Get your arm off the rope. This one. How did it This one. Touch. This one. Yeah. Look at me. Right hand across. The tenth oh, round. Look at me. Oh, he he, he, he killed the guy. He Slow destroyed. Your heart, Slow your heart, baby. Do you understand me? Everything starts from here. ESPN's World Championship Boxing has been brought to you by Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Bob Papa and Al Bernstein back in Albany for ESPN's World Championship Boxing. Earlier tonight, Mike Grant, a split decision over Jeff Wooden in a 10 round heavyweight bout. And there's Jesus Salud trying to take Kevin Kelly. He's going to be the Weight championship away. Round number 10 is underway. Kelly with one 10th round knockout in his career. Salute with four. I don't see the two rounds. Kelly was on his feet, stretching his quadriceps. Oh, right. She looked almost like he was tightening up on him. Look at that and see if he's got a problem with his leg. You know, the last four opponents of Kevin Kelly have all up in the side. And Luke Santana, Derek Gaynor, Julio Spinoza, Yeah, he's not, he's just not going the way he's going. He's not going the way he's going. 
Okay. Ice pack above the knee. Oh, okay. Hey, there's an ice pack above the knee of uh, Kelly. If we could shoot that. Could be a bruise or something. Could be a bruise or something. Sunday night, the Red Wings in Colorado Avalanche for the McNichols Arena in Denver. It begins at 8 p.m. here on ESPN. The Red Wings are led by Brendan Shanahan. The Avalanche led by Claude Lemieux. These two teams square off Sunday night, March 16th, 8 p.m. from Denver, Colorado. What do those two hockey players have in common? Mm, I don't know. I'm pointing their career. Ah. Okay. Oh. 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 Younger days. Of course, Lemieux on the Devils won the cup. Opening seconds of the New Jersey Nets. You know that.
Salud might slip back to the 122. Wait, I, I think he may be, he's certainly more comfortable at 126, but I don't think his power this way makes his big impact. Jesus Salud has had a very, very nice career. Push off the back foot. You flat footed. You're flat footed. You're not even trying now. Three. Okay? All you need is one quick push off the back if you got him. Huh? Come on, now we behind. Stay up under him and push. You got it. Push one, two. Okay? Push one, two. Push one, two. <laughs> He's gonna run. He's gonna run, hey Sue. He's gonna run. You gotta stay right on top of him. You gotta make him work. You gotta make him work, Jesus. Last right, round, we touch okay. the all right? Well, come on. Welcome back to ESPN's Championship Boxing. Bob Papa along with Al Bernstein. Jesus Salou trying to wrestle John away Kevin water. Kelly's WBU Featherweight Championship, but not much like it's going to happen unless Salou can pull off the first round knockout. Right of his long career. And that career has spanned almost 14 years. But this could be a defining moment for it if he doesn't make something impressive happen like a knockout here in round 12. Don't forget next Thursday night on ESPN at 930, Junior Lightweight Lightning. I know the point here. This is about Rudy and Arturo Gaddy and Tracy Harris-Patterson second fight, 930. Next Thursday, March 20th, on ESPN Fox Special. The height and reach of Kelly has really helped him in his body. And I'd say he has switched just enough to the right stance, not stayed in it so long as to, to languish and give Slim Kelly. Figure him out just right. enough to give him a different look. Yeah, that's the whole, that's the successfully defended his WBU featherweight championship and Jesus Salud coming up short again it looks like in another world title fight now let's take a look at our fight summary for this evening. <laughs> 
chance to look back at this fight and catch the important moments right from the get go. Kevin Kelly showed some things that maybe Salud didn't think he was going to have like some power for instance with this straight left hand that sent Salud down in round one. Power from Kelly early on and then it didn't take long for Jesus Salud to go down again he had slipped but uh, as the fight went on Kevin Kelly continued to dominate and box effectively well they're tallying up the cards we must apologize for some of the technical problems that our producer and director were having in the truck because they're very talented as you mentioned yes, there they are. Are. <laughs> even they're not into that stutter step well, that's for the Dukes uh, that's that's machinery you know what can you do sort of like the lights are yeah they're waiting for the decision Kevin Kelly and Jesus salute and there's Kevin Kelly hoping for his 46th win <sighs> like the box team he's done a lot of television commentary on he is a very uh, articulate young man, lots of energy. And for Jesus Salud, this is probably going to be a very tough moment for him at 34. It's going to set him back considerably if, in fact, he gets this loss. Well, it looks like we have the decision. Here's our ring announcer, Ladies Paul Lafleur. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Judge Harold Letterman saw the fight 118 to 108. Judge Malvina Latham saw the fight 117 to 109. And Judge Bob Gilson saw the fight 118 to 108 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still the WBU featherweight champion, Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly, a winner, Al, no surprise, and a unanimous decision over Jesus Salud. Good effort by Kelly. A superb performance in which Kevin Kelly did look like the old Kevin Kelly. Boxing, not slugging. Making it work. All right. Don't forget Michael Grant, also a winner tonight. Split decision over Jeff Wood. And join us next Thursday for an ESPN boxing special. Junior Lightweight Lightning. We'll take a look back at the IBF Junior Lightweight title as Arturo Gatti defends against Tracy Harris Patterson. Also, we'll have the WBU Junior Lightweight Championship. Angel Manfredi takes on Wilson Rodriguez. It begins at 9.30 p.m. Eastern next Thursday night. Coming up next on ESPN Baseball Tonight, Carl Ravitch and Peter Gammons. Cecil Fielder still a Yankee? We'll find out. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Congratulations.